Hey everyone, welcome back to the place we were testing every single mask on Amazon. I think, because it happened again. <laughs> we got one of those things where we ordered some masks and then Eagle Don showed up. Not Uncle Don, Eagle Don. <laughs> Let's put it in the clamp and we'll talk about it. Clamps. I'm just gonna, oh, no, I did it. That was, that was, that was. Just, I've done better. This is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. We're doing the American standard test for surgical masks here. ASTM one, two, and three. Gotta get 95% or better. Otherwise it's not meeting those standards. But are we even making any claims on the box? I don't know, it's the first time I'm seeing it. I like the name Eagle Don Pharma. And I'll tell you why I like the name. Because it's actually the name of the manufacturer, which rarely happens. Usually they put some like randomly generated sort of English sounding name as the brand. This is actually their name, Zyman Eagle Dawn Pharmaceutical Co. Cool. Disposable face mask, breathable, comfortable, made in China. They're intended for use by the general public, not for healthcare workers. This seems like something that was made early on in the pandemic. That's weird, open. And then you've got a bag that you can open there. But I'm gonna I'm gonna follow the instructions as intended. How is that better? All right, let's try this out. Ooh, that's great. That is great. Ah, Eagle Dawn. Let's do a smell test. I'm going to call this smell uh, the plastic bag sparkle wing the goldfish came in, which is the name of my daughter's goldfish when she was five. Can I have scissors, please? Scalpel. Scalpel. There you go. So uh, this does not have a metal nose wire, which is basically a pretty big sin. So <laughs> like that's just, it's just a really crappy mask. And the reason why it's a crappy mask is because plastic just doesn't hold the same shape as metal. So if you try to like bend that around your face, what you're gonna end up getting is not a very good fit. So bend, 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 and then look here. Look at that. The Corona can see right in. You don't want that. That's no good. Yeah, I would not use this mask based on that, but I did the test. I spent the $250,000 on the lab. We, we might as well look at the results. I mean, we don't like the mask. We know that. We like the name, Eagle Dawn. We like that. But we don't like the mask. Yeah. But maybe, oh. should we look? Should we look anyway? Oh, I'm curious. Ah! They got something, right? 97.343, 97.343. Now, if I were comparing this to the ASTM standard, the American standard, that would be an ASTM level one mask, which is above 90. 5%. Typically, I look for ASTM level 2 or 3, which is 98% or better, but really splitting hairs. That's a great score. Uh, 72 pascals on the breathability. You want anything under 100 is like, wah, wah, except for this is like, blah, blah, because the nose wire is not a wire. Okay, don't call it that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you appreciated this test. I had fun. I'm always having fun. I have a good time wherever I go, uh, especially when I'm testing masks. And, and speaking of which, I'm testing masks every day. I will see you tomorrow, same time, same station, tomorrow, 10 a.m., every day until the end of 2021, every day, and maybe after. We don't know. If we can keep finding masks, we will keep testing them, and I will see you then.